Hello, and welcome to another episode of Husky Trails. This video is part of a bike journey series in which I address different topics to give you as much information and help as I can regarding all things bike journey. If you are looking for information on bike drawing equipment or general pointers on how to set yourself up for success, I have linked two separate videos on that in the description. In this video, I will address some questions that I probably get asked the most. What do you do when you meet other dogs, wildlife or people on the trail? So for passing anything on the trail, your dog needs to know the on by command. This command tells them to ignore distractions and keep going. When you are passing other people, try to stay to one side of the trail as much as possible to give everybody enough room. Here you can see Leica wants to use the same path as the jogger coming up because it's the driest path. But because we have enough space, I am able to steer all the way to the right and pull her over a little so that we can all still pass without problems. If you are passing people from behind, make sure to announce yourself. Say something like, we are passing on your left, so that you don't startle them or have them step right in front of you. Keep in mind too that some people might be afraid of dogs and you want to give them a heads up. This is general good trail etiquette. Always keep in mind that we are sharing the trail. The other thing to keep in mind when passing people is that you should only do this in fairly controlled situations. If the trail is too narrow or there are children running around, you shouldn't pass with your dog. Instead, stop at the side of the trail and give your dog the sit-stay command. If possible, don't engage with the people you are passing. Your dog will likely want to interact with the people as well, at least mine does. This will create a habit that interrupts your mushing rhythm. It is also counterproductive to what you are trying to teach your dog. When we pass other people on the trail, they usually just smile and nod at us or we exchange a quick hello. It's hard when people try to stop you and rope you into a conversation because you don't want to be rude. What you can do is politely say, sorry, we're training or something like that. Repeat the on by command and focus on your dog and keep going. Verbally praise your dog if they passed well. So these are the key things you should keep in mind when passing other people on the trail. Your dog has to know the on by command. You should only do this in controlled situations. Is there enough space to share the trail? Announce yourself if you're passing from behind. And don't let people stop or distract your dog. When we meet other dogs on the trail, regardless of whether they're on or off leash, I always stop at the side of the trail and have like a sit-stay. The thing is, even if your dog is well trained with on by and ignores the other dog, you never know how the other dog is going to react. Having my dog sit-stay at the side takes some dynamic out of the situation and gives me a little more control. So in this example, there are two off-leash dogs up ahead. I stop Laika and tell her to sit. However, she's a husky and has to do it her way. She decides she wants to say hi to these dogs and goes into the middle of the path to sit down. Since this clearly doesn't give the other person enough room to pass with her dogs, I pull Laika back to the side and tell her again to sit stay. Note also that I keep a hand on her line just in case. This is otherwise a really good example for passing dogs on the trail because the woman leashes both her dogs up when she sees us and then keeps them focused on her while passing. When they have passed, I praise Laika for a good sit-stay. This is ideally how a dog encounter on the trail goes for you. And here's an example of how it shouldn't go. The dogs up ahead are off leash. The owner doesn't bother leashing them up and they also don't listen to his half-hearted stay. Before I have time to get off my bike, the other dog just runs right into us. Luckily, the dog wasn't aggressive and luckily the dog didn't get tangled up in our mushing line. This is a prime example why you need to have a plan what you do in these situations. Keep in mind that you are several feet behind your dog on a bike and don't have immediate control. 
Having an off-leash dog run into your dog, trying to play, and then getting tangled up can end in a dog fight. So these are the takeaways for passing other dogs on the trail. Your dog should know the sit-stay command. Stop at the side of the trail and distract your dog if necessary. Praise or reward your dog with something if they did well. Don't let your dog interact with other dogs. The most important thing for passing wildlife on the trail is that your dog has to know the on by command. I recommend you only go out and bike door when your dog reliably goes on by 8 times out of 10. I will make a separate video on how to train the mushing commands. Once your dog knows the on by command, there is a good chance your dog will just keep running straight ahead when you come across wildlife. Most of the time, my dog will just speed up a little and look after the squirrel, but will continue to run on the trail. Many mushers actually like having these little encounters because the dogs pick up some speed. Make sure to verbally praise your dog if they kept running on the trail. On by. Good on by. Good on by. On by. Good on by. Good job. Good on by, good on by, very good, good job. The other important thing is that you need to stay focused and pay attention to your dog and the trail at all times. Always be aware of your surroundings and be ready on the brakes. When your dog wants to dash off to the side, slow down and give the on by command. If your dog doesn't go on by and would pull you off the trail, brake and stop. Wait until the animal has gone and then just start back up. This is also why it's important to attach your bike during piece to the bike frame and not the handlebar, because you can still steer and are in control. If you fully close the brakes and put your foot on the ground, you're not going anywhere. But this is also why it's not recommended to do this with more than two dogs. On by, on by. No. Let's go. Good. And here are the key things to remember when encountering wildlife. Your dog has to know the on by command. You should always be focused and pay attention to your surroundings. Be ready on the brakes at all times. Fully stop and put your foot on the ground if necessary. And verbally praise your dog for a good on by. I hope this helps to see why it's so important to take the time to train the commands and prepare for different situations so that you set yourself and your dog up for success. Also keep in mind that the fewer distractions you have, the better, especially when starting out. That's also why I don't do any mushing in my small park in town or next to a road. This is why I always go to more remote parks and trail systems where I have fewer people and dog encounters and no traffic. Feel free to comment if you have any questions or would like to share your own experience. Happy trails!